Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. If you guys are wondering why I skipped out on the Mikimoto's exclusive episode Plate Gacha, well, this breakdown will definitely give you the reason why. So here we go, let's break down Mikimoto's Gacha first before we talk about Basara's crossover blaze costume. So let's take a look at the episode plate featured for this gacha. And of course, we get to see the fully evolved version with its plus 25 value luck stats. So at 380, 383 total, uh, my brain wasn't processing right. So um, yeah, and it's quite well balanced among the stats, of course, focusing a bit more on soul. But yeah. And of course, featuring the, all the 5 divas that are featured in the episode play itself. So yeah, all of them can be equipped with this episode play itself. Center skill, S rank, total up. So units total is boosted by 30% up. Uh, pretty okay center skill considering it only focuses on a single diva and not the whole team. Um, it's still pretty okay. Not the best, but pretty fine. Alright, and active skill for 15 seconds where well, you have an easier time tapping notes. So that said, this episode plate is not meant to be used as a center position but meant to be used as a life skill support for high score purposes. So life skill S rank combo bonus. So if you guys are still not familiar with this, well, what have you been doing? Go watch my previous videos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last page, which is the most important of all, is this place worth it because, well, the stats are pretty okay. If you don't have an episode plate that is similar like this one or better than this one, um, I guess you can probably invest into it if you have the extra singing stones. Um, but yeah, so no special notes attached to it. That's kind of a bummer, so this doesn't make it the... Well, the highest tier possible, closest to God tier, which is your 7 star episode plates. Well, I would say this plate is still pretty decent, but is it a must? I would say probably not. Um, like I said earlier, if you guys have plates similar to this or better than this, you can probably skip out on this one. And of course, the reason why I'm skipping out is because, well, it's an episode plate that has a costume that has well been released before so if you guys have not unlocked Min Mei's China dress I guess you can invest into this gacha to try and get this plate well it's only one new plate out of the whole bunch that is added into this gacha so there's a high tendency that you might not hit this plate at all and probably get repeats or maybe if you're trying to flush out your bad luck you know you, you can try doing it on this gacha but of course, the one thing that's fabulous about this gacha is you get to see both versions of the episode plates artwork. You had the pre-evolved version right here without Cheryl and Ranka. Then of course, when it's fully evolved, Cheryl and Ranka joins in the illustration as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not pulling Mikimoto's gacha. Because, uh, well, I'm low on seeing stones right now and I can't afford to buy any of the singing stone packs right now so I'm using my singing stones for Basara because his costume is brand new and I would love to try and unlock his costume um, you know via the current 300 singing stones that I have on hand and hopefully enough I will be able to pull some of the brand new episode plates for his costume which there are currently only three so I've already released the information on my YouTube Facebook page regarding what is brand new in this gacha that contains costume points for his crossover blaze costume. Yes, his costume is called crossover blaze, just like Basara's passion. It is hot and burning as always. So let's break down his episode plate guys and see whether it is worth the singing stones or maybe even more if you actually want to unlock his costume. Or maybe if you're a hardcore Basara fan. 3852 total. So it's still slightly lower than Mikimoto's episode plate. But somewhere in the range of all 
the crossover episode plates ha- that have been released so far. Well, balanced stats, a bit more on the charm side, hmm, which Basara kind of lacks in terms of his real life personality. I-, I don't know. I mean, he is passionate about his music and all that stuff, but he lacks charm as a person, I suppose. But I guess Milane sees that in him, so that's why. Milane has a hots for both Basara and Gamlin. <laughs> okay, so center skill A rank. Ah, so I guess Basara's episode plate is not meant to be used as a center? Huh, that's pretty really interesting. Alright, so Love Element songs. Uh, when a unit is playing the Love Element songs, the total is boosted by 25%. Up. So that's probably one of the reasons why it's an A rank because the percentage is not that high, but that's okay. All right, so center skill, active skill, sorry, active skill, eh, combo, do not break. Huh. Okay, so that's not a very useful active skill, and it's only for seven seconds. That's pretty interesting. All right, but life skill combo bonus. It has the brand new life skill attached to it. Which makes it a fantastic high score achieving life skill support episode plate. But, you know, it's still a risk factor because of its combo uh, retaining need. So, yeah, let's take a look at the last page to see whether it's actually a uh, worthwhile investment in this gacha. Ooh, so it doesn't come with any special notes attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer. I, I guess. Basara's episode plate might be the first weakest crossover episode plate yet. Huh. But I mean, it does have an awesome life skill, so. But still, it, it seems a bit uh, weak for Basara. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, what do I think about it? Well, if you don't have a pink element, episode plate that has a life skill like this, I guess it's still a pretty good investment, uh, even though it's a, a pretty slightly lower in total score for, you know, a higher tier episode plate. It is, it is on a high tier end, but still n- not the highest, you know, before god tier. Um, so yeah, I think it's still a decent episode plate. Um, definitely worth the investment if you don't have anything like this yet. Um, it definitely can replace any of your older pink element episode plates on hand that is nothing like this at all. So yeah, uh, and yeah, why not kill two birds with one stone and try and obtain Basara's brand new crossover costume as well. So let's do this guys, I've only got a single template pool uh, discounted rate for Basara and yeah, I've got like a hundred singing stones left for the red boss event uh, that I can use to grind the event itself. So, hmm. <laughs> uh, pretty pretty budget this time round. <laughs> so, oh dear, the the loading didn't seem that long, so it's not looking good. Yeah, three flames. Oh, that's a surprise! Whoa! Okay, things are starting to look better. Oh, that is nice to see. Hey, we get Goblin! Well, today is his birthday, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, happy birthday to Goblin. That's, that's okay, even though even the Goblin's episode plate is not fantastic. Uh, it's, it's nice to see his episode plate on his birthday. So that, that's pretty okay. Hopefully the next rainbow box is Basara, so we get a whole... Uh, across seven trio, yeah, there we go. <laughs> ah, this is a fantastic gacha pool for Macross Seven celebration. We get Gumlin's episode plate for his birthday. We get the Basara. Now we just need Milane somewhere. Oh, <laughs> um, that's pretty nice as well. But okay, no love for Milane. Wait, mi- wait, we do see Milane. Oh wait, there, there, there she is, squabbling with Basara. <laughs> so yeah, we get a full Macross 7 love 
I suppose... Uh, well, the remaining members of Fire Bomber are not here, so... Close enough. We get the triangle for Macross 7. <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you guys appreciated all the info. As always, let me know by hitting the like button. Comment down below, what are your thoughts about the current episode plates for both Basara and Mikimoto's artwork? And of course, let me know, how do you guys do for your own personal pools? And as always, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and well, hit the bell notification icons for whenever I upload stuff. Join me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description once again, and I'll see you guys soon for an unboxing video? Yeah, that's coming around the corner. Bye!